number four, your marriage matters. It matters to your husband. What do men want? Most men need to feel like a hero. That's why we love the Rocky movies. That's why we like Braveheart. Now, why do you think little boys want to grow up and be firemen and policemen? No little boy ever said, I want to grow up and be a real nice man. <laughs> you want to climb the highest mountain. Take the winning shot in the last seconds of a ball game. Some year, uh, months ago, after my wife's death, I started playing basketball again because I had to take it up to take care of her. And there's a great big guy, like six foot six, 300 pounds, big guy, lovely man. I was going up for a rebound, and he stepped on my toes. I fell backwards, and I couldn't catch myself with a foot like you do, and I landed on my wrist and broke my wrist. I had to have two steel plates put in and 12 screws. Add that all down and all this. And the surgeon, and he's looking at this, and he goes, Oh, that really looks good. And I said, No, it doesn't. <laughs> and he said, why? He, he, he was a little bit offended. I said, what do you mean? I said, well, it's disappearing. And he said, well, I know. He says, it's a sign of a good surgeon is when the scar disappears. I said, I don't want it to disappear. I want a great big honking scar there so I can tell my grandchildren I was in a sword fight and I won. <laughs> he didn't laugh like you did. But we want to be the hero. We want to win. We want to be the first and the fastest and the best and the strongest. When I was a kid, we watched Davy Crockett. Who was Davy Crockett? The king of the wild frontier. Do you think I would have watched it if it was Flaccid Fred at the flower fields? <laughs> I don't think so. You know, but, but we want. We, <laughs> don't think about that too long, Rosemary. We we want to be the first and the best and the biggest and the strongest, and we want to be like. David did kill the giant and cut his head off. That's the best part of that story when David takes his own sword and cuts his head off. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't you like to do that? We want to cross the river in the dead of winter like George Washington did. We want to uh, inspire the millions of people like Martin Luther King did and rally them to charge and, and to fight for their freedom and their equality. And here, lovely ladies, is where you come in. Because you are the fair maiden that he was pursuing. Real men don't cry. We will jump and hoot and holler when the Broncos make a touchdown, but we'll barely notice when the house is clean or the flowers bloom or the meat is cooked just right. We'll hide our hurts. We'll swallow our pride. We'll ignore our emotions. We'll bury our disappointments. We'll run from confrontation. We'll conceal our indulgences. We'll refuse to engage. We'll excuse our addictions. We'll withhold our affections. We'll criticize too often. Compliment too soft. And belch too loud. And that's the bad news. But the good news is that married men are better than single men. Married men make more money. Married men are more civilized than single men. Marriage transforms their wild and crazy lives into socially acceptable behavior.